Yeah, so next up for today is um, pattern-based clustering, which is a little bit um, orthogonal to the classification hierarchy or taxonomy um, we've given for um, those methods clustering high-dimensional data. We had subspace clustering, projected clustering, uh, focusing on access parallel um, subspace clusters, um, basically differing in uh, yeah, different uh, approaches, um, bottom-up and top-down approaches for finding the subspaces. And we'll have correlation clustering um, in two weeks. Next week we'll be, uh, we'll be off, um, as you remember. So um, correlation clustering will be in two weeks, focusing on arbitrary-oriented clustering. And um, yeah, pattern-based clustering is somehow in between, as we will see, because um, those methods follow um, some other intuition, um, which is, however, as we always also will see um, in this podcast or in the next one, uh, is um, somehow related, ex extremely related, um, to um, all the other stuff. Yeah, so let's have a look at that. First of all, uh, a mini contents overview in this um, subsection. We will um, basically uh, focus here on the, uh, the models, uh, the cluster models. <clears throat> we will have four um, different cluster models that um, uh, differ in how the clusters yeah, are defined and are modeled. And then we will have uh, a short discussion on algorithms for con um, yeah, uh, computing constant by clusters uh, and and uh, pattern based clustering. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll start with the with the basic models, uh, and actually we will have four uh, classes of models. And um, first of all, um, the general idea of pattern based clustering. Well, um, it um, has a more uh, data matrix uh, centered view, I would say, because uh, pattern based clustering um, try to find patterns in the data matrix. So something which is uh, uh, appearing through rearranging the columns and um, um, the objects, yeah? which is actually nothing else but um, subspace clustering and stuff like that. Um, but um, yeah, those methods historically follow um, a more um, data matrix centric view. So um, they, they want to simultaneously cluster the rows and the columns. The rows are the features, of course, and the columns are uh, the objects of the data matrix. Uh, and since they try to simultaneously cluster two things, um, they are called by clustering also. Yeah, so by clustering is another term for pattern based clustering. <clears throat> okay, and yeah, we will use the, uh, in the following um, the, uh, the term, uh, those terms here. So the data matrix consists of um, a set of rows uh, X that are the app objects and a set of features uh, which is uh, denoted by Y. And we will uh, denote with the small A, X, Y uh, this element in row X and in column Y. Yeah, just a uh, term, uh, terms and notations we use. Yeah? And um, <clears throat> what uh, pattern-based clustering algorithms uh, typically try to find are submatrices uh, having a, a given cluster criterion and the submatrix uh, capital A I J um, is uh, specifying actually a subset of rows. So I uh, is a subset of the, um, the, uh, the, the objects. Um, and uh, a subset of columns, so J is a subset of the features. Yeah? Um, and uh, those um, elements here in this uh, submatrix actually follow a specific, as I said, a specific pattern, so that's why they are called pattern-based clustering. Yeah? And we will see that, um, uh, yeah, uh, as uh, announced already, that we have four different patterns that those elements could, could follow, and we'll have a look at all those uh, patterns, of course, in the remainder. Yeah, um, and as I said before, uh, we'll try to find a set or sets of uh, or a set of submatrices um, of the original data matrix such that each submatrix meets a given cluster criterion. Typically, it's a kind of homogeneous uh, homogeneity criterion. So, um, for example, um, all should have the same values or the same values in columns or the same values in rows. We'll see that right in a minute. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we use um, some, again, some notations, some values often used uh, in the bi-clustering models coming up is the mean of the row uh, i is, uh, yeah, the mean of the row. Uh, and we use also the mean of the column j, which is denoted as this one here. Yeah, um, So a i capital j means the mean of the row 
uh, i because we sum up all the j's and uh, divide it uh, by um, by the number of j's and the same holds true for the columns and the mean uh, of all objects uh, are uh, of all elements in a sub matrix uh, is um, yeah denoted by a capital i capital j uh, which is obviously uh, yeah the um, sum of all means of rows or the sum of all uh, means of, of, of columns. Yeah. Okay, so and uh, as uh, announced and again announced here, we have different types of uh, patterns of homogeneity um, criteria. Um, the, the, the clusters should, um, should meet. Um, so the, the, the values in the, in the sub matrix, uh, matrix uh, should uh, meet in order to be a bi cluster. And the first one is uh, so our so called constant bi clusters. Then uh, constant or uh, sorry, bi clusters with constant values in columns and or uh, constant values in rows. Bi clusters uh, with coherent uh, values. They are sometimes also called pattern based clustering um, uh, by their own, but um, you can also call the whole thing pattern based clustering. And also, uh, we have uh, models that uh, rely on coherent evolutions. And as ag again, we will have a look on those. So um, the first uh, one is constant by clusters. It's the most um, uh, simplistic uh, model. So all points, all values share identical values in the selected attributes. So all points and all features should be identical. Yeah? Or the value of all points and all features should be identical. Um, and yeah, the const this constant value, the, the identical value is, is the constant value uh, um, mu. Uh, and that is the, the, so to say, the model, the typical value for that cluster. Yeah? So the cluster model is very easy. All values in the respective uh, rows and columns are just the same, uh, uh, this uh, specific typical value mu. Yeah? And this is obviously a special case of uh, access parallel subspace clusters, because if you have a look at this one here, so this is a submatrix um, involving all four points, but only the to, uh, the, the first two attributes a1 and a2 and a3 is not part of this sub matrix so this is the sub matrix with a constant by cluster <clears throat> and um, as you see here all those points are in the actually in the this is the relevant subspace yeah a1 and a2 uh, the the j's are the relevant are spanning the relevant subspace and in this subspace all points are identical yeah they just uh, spread in the in the, in the non-relevant attributes like the a3 here but if you project them all uh, on this uh, plane a1 a2 then they are all the same exactly the same uh, this value here uh, yeah so um, yeah that's it actually so very simple model um, but um, yeah you can of course go for it yeah, the interpretation points are located on the bisecting line of the participating attributes, as I said. Yeah, so um, if all values have to be the same, uh, they can be either one one or two two or three three in the discrete case, or one point five one point five one point seven one point seven. But they have to be all the same. So they are in the in the uh, participating attributes in the relevant subspace. They are. Uh, on a point, but this point is on the bisecting line, which is uh, the dashed uh, line here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we will also use um, the visualization uh, with parallel coordinates. You probably know from uh, KDD or recall from KDD um, uh, one. So the, those are. This is the visualization here. What you do here is that on the x-axis you um, have the attributes, and on the y-axis the corresponding value. So in that case, um, well. They, all those points should be, of course, identical in A1 and A2. So th those, uh, probably a little bit misleading. So all those points here should be um, one, and all those here should be also one. And now in the non-participating attributes, which is A3 here, they can spread all over. Yeah? So that is the um, typical uh, characteristic pattern if you look at um, parallel, uh, the parallel coordinates of uh, this um, data set. Yeah. And of course, um, order the um, the relevant attributes need not to be a one and a two, but it could be a one and a three or a one and a whatever. Yeah. And if they, if you order them, you you have this characteristic pattern where all points are on the line as long as you are um, uh, you are um, visualizing uh, the relevant uh, attributes, the relevant coordinates. Okay. 